Hey there guys, this is Reckles with Wanted by Gold, and today we're figuring out an answer to a question that's been plaguing gold makers ever since 7.0 pre-patch. How long should you spend killing in a group farm before you start looting? Now, if you're super new to gold making, I've explained how group farming works, the basics, in previous videos, so Reckles from the past, take it away. For anyone new to the gold making community, welcome. Five man group farming can get pretty complicated, but here's the basics. Essentially. Anytime Blizzard has a quest that says kill eight blood trolls, they make sure that a minimum of eight have to be up at any one time. Now, this spawn rate's complicated and they can raise or lower this depending on whether they want to nerf the farm. But essentially, once you kill that eighth enemy, another one will spawn randomly somewhere else. So what we do is we get five people together and just make sure that someone is in range of every possible spawn point. And then you're pretty much just bouncing the enemy spawn back and forth as you kill them. So that's the basics, kill things, don't loot, and then everyone goes out and loots everything together and then you go back to killing and just alternate between those two. Now, I was in a Spirit of Harmony farming group recently where the leader, who was from Bartholos, had us kill for 20 minutes straight in between each loot cycle. If you didn't die a little on the inside when I said that, listen up. Uh, when you're group farming, you want to loot as many enemies as possible in each pile. Like, flying around and looting 100 bodies gets you more loot than 50 bodies, right? Duh. Well, enemies in WoW despawn if you don't loot them fast enough. So sure, you can pile up a whole bunch of enemies, but after a certain amount of time for each one you kill, there's gonna be one that despawns and you're only ever gonna have like 10 bodies in each pile. So the longest you should kill for is the despawn timer for that specific enemy. But here's a quiz for you. What is that despawn timer for a normal enemy in WoW? Pause the video right now and put your answers down in the comments because I asked a bunch of you gold makers this question on Twitter and I got a lot of different answers. I'll tell you the number later, give you time to pause and answer down in the comments, but the moral, never have a kill cycle longer than the despawn timer. Uh, the Spirit of Harmony farm leader was essentially wasting 18 minutes of every 20 minute cycle. Uh, the moral for elite gold makers and guide makers though, if you find a new farming spot, kill one of the enemies, don't loot them, and time how long their despawn is because it can vary. Here's the answer though, two minutes. Open world elites and normal enemies despawn after two minutes. There are some caveats though. The bodies despawn 33 seconds after the first person loots them. So it's actually really bad if you're doing a group farm and you loot early. On the other hand, if you wait until the very end of the timer to loot, it can extend how long the body stays there to two minutes, 33 seconds. But it's not lootable after two minutes, so it this doesn't really matter. Then, if the enemy is skinnable, looting them starts an additional two minute, seven second despawn timer. So you can have like 407 maximum on any average enemy. Uh, dungeon bosses are longer. I stayed in front of one for 47 minutes and just gave up, but I'm still curious. So if any of y'all have extra time and wanna help out the channel, start a stopwatch, kill a boss, don't loot it and let me know when it despawns because I'm, I'm still really curious. So long story short, two minutes. You want big piles, but if you kill for two minutes, then they're gonna start despawning and you'll miss out on loot. So should you kill for less than two minutes? Say a minute 45, a minute 30, one minute flat to make sure the bodies don't despawn. How long should your five man kill for to maximize the amount of loot you get? Well, we can answer that. If your group moon fires for 60 seconds and then looting takes 60 seconds, none of the enemies are gonna despawn because you'll grab everything within that two minute timer. You'll be able to grab everything. A five man group can moon fire 200 enemies a minute. So that means each person will loot 200 bodies every two minute cycle. That's 6,000 enemies per hour. Now, if you moon fire for two minutes straight instead and then loot for 60 seconds, your five man group will generate 400 bodies that will be lootable initially, but they'll immediately start despawning. After a minute of flying around to all the piles, 200 of those bodies will have despawned, but the despawn rate is constant, so you only actually lose out on 100 of those 400 enemies. So, 
For a five-man, two-on-one-off group farm, each three-minute kill and loot cycle will contain about 300 lootable enemies, and you'll also be able to get 6,000 enemies per hour. Now, that's the same as the one-on-one-off, but before we say it's always the same, it doesn't matter, let's see what happens at one minute 30 seconds. You kill for one minute 30 and generate 300 bodies. The first 30 seconds of looting are free and clear, nothing despawns, but over the second 30 seconds, a hundred of those bodies are gonna despawn. It's a linear despawn rate, so you'd miss out on 50 enemies, but because you already looted half of the ones that are despawning, you actually only miss out on 25, and in your two minute 30 second cycle, you loot 275 bodies, or 6,600 an hour, that's 10% more than with both one minute and two minute. So, it gets a lot more complicated than this, but I'll save you from all that because I did a spreadsheet. I did a thing. Uh, this is available to any of the wonderful people who support me on Patreon, but for the average five-man Boomkin farm, the maximum loot per hour is at 87 seconds kill time and 60 seconds loot time. Uh, a couple of the interesting things, uh, global cooldown just changes how much loot per hour you get. It doesn't change what the best ratio of kill to loot is. The group size also doesn't affect anything. The only thing that really changes is speeding up how quickly you can fly around and loot all the bodies. If you can fly around and loot everything in 30 seconds, it actually increases the amount of time you should be killing for up to 95 seconds, so a minute 35. So before you go out on a group farm, keep this spreadsheet up. And that's the big important thing I wanted to share with this video. 85 seconds to 95 seconds is almost always going to be the best. I did include this neat little drop rate analyzer to actually put this thing to use though, and uh, we can use this for lots of different farms. So walking through how it works, Nixandra's broodlings have dropped the Dark Welt battle pet according to Wowhead, 556 times in 671,000 attempts. With a little numbering, we, sh we can see that you should kill for 85 seconds, and you can expect five pets an hour doing that. But you could speed up looting to 45 seconds if you hustle here, and then you could expect six an hour, which bumps your farm up from 90k per hour to 105k per hour. For incandescent fell sparks, motes of fire dropped 175,000 out of 540,000 kills, so you should get a max of 215 primal fire per hour here, worth 108,000 gold. Transmog really shines with this though. Uh, for Silithus Glorious Farming, the Twilight Avengers dropped Glorious Leg Plates 78 out of 107 million kills. At 250k per drop, that puts the Glorious Leg Plate Farm at 75k per hour just from Glorious Leg Plates. There's a whole bunch of other Transmog you get here. Uh, but the sheet's also good for nerf testing. The Faithless Skycallers in BFA have dropped the Dune Scavenger mount, the Hyena mount, 79 out of 35,000 recorded kills. That gives us a 1 in 500 drop rate and means that each person should be getting 14 an hour. One mount every four minutes. But that's that's like completely laughable. In practice, if an entire five-man group sees one an hour, that's crazy luck. So Blizzard is definitely doing something fishy and dynamic with the drop rate here without telling us, and I'd love to know how it works. That's it though, thank you so much for watching. If you want to play with the spreadsheet yourself, head on over to Patreon. If you can't afford a dollar a month though, uh, you can support things like this by hitting the like button. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day, good luck, and happy gold making.